We begin with global reaction to North Korea's latest provocation. The UN Security Council has convened an emergency meeting to discuss Pyongyang's launch of a submarine-launched ballistic missile, which was a clear violation of UN resolutions. The United States and the European Union have also responded with strong remarks. Kwon Zoa reports. North Korea's submarine-launched ballistic missile test goes against the UN Security Council's resolutions on the regime, including the latest, strongest resolution 2270 in effect since March. In a move to condemn the launch and discuss measures to make Pyongyang abide by international rules, the 15-member council gathered at the UN headquarters Wednesday local time at the request of the United States and Japan. Earlier this month, a similar meeting triggered by North Korea's launch of ballistic missiles failed to issue a press statement due to China's opposition. Earlier, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expressed deep concern about the latest developments and said Pyongyang had ignored international calls for it to change its attitude. He urged North Korea to take measures to ease tension and at the same time return to talks on its denuclearization. Similarly, the United States on Wednesday strongly condemned Pyongyang's SLBM launch. We call on the DPRK to refrain from actions and rhetoric that further raise tensions in the region and focus instead on taking concrete steps towards fulfilling its commitments and international obligations. At the White House, spokesperson Josh Ernest said the possibility of additional sanctions cannot be ruled out, but at this point it's difficult to judge the need for them. The EU says North Korea must, quote, halt all missile launches using ballistic missile technology and abandon its ballistic missile programs in a complete, verifiable and irreversible manner. France also criticized Pyongyang's test through its foreign ministry, saying the launch threatens regional and global peace and security. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.